Okay, so we are going to use one of the blocks. So this is block B, and we are going to transfer our samples and place them inside uh, the block. So we are going to use all of these and put them like that so that we have the pressure dispersed on the tubes. Small recommendation is not to use the edges if you could because this way everywhere will be the same temperature etc. So now it's clear that everything is set up. Also you should always check that your lid is closed properly. So let's check them now. And all the lids should be closed. Like here. Now it's all set up, we close it, pull it down and then um, lower the hinge. After that we will need to tighten the lid and you will hear a sound like this, which means it is ready for start. We turn on the PCR cycle, cycler, and wait until it's fully loaded. Okay, so from this menu, you can see that we have uh, the option to start a new protocol. We can write the uh, protocols in the automated way. We can also use the protocols saved from the previous uh, sections. And finally, we have the incubation. So we set this program to have the uh, incubation set for some period of time. Also, we have uh, the choice of the blocks. In this case, we will be using the block B and when we set up the program, we will need to indicate that we are using the block B. Now it says that it is idle. In our case, we are going to start a new protocol. And here we have the first column saying the initial denaturation at temperature 95 degrees of Celsius for three minutes. Now we need to change it to 94 Celsius degrees and two minutes. So to do so, you just press on the 95 and set 94 then press OK, press on the time and change it to 2 minutes, then press OK. Now we have 
the second step, the second column, and it also 94 percent, uh, 94 Celsius degrees, and you are going to have it for 30 seconds. Third step would be the uh, annealing temperature, and the annealing temperature is set to 52 percent, 52 uh, Celsius degrees, for 30 seconds. Finally, we have the extension time at 72 Celsius degrees for one minute. Then we need to repeat the uh, cycle for 34 times. So 34 plus one cycle from the beginning, it means 35 cycles. And on step five, it will automatically go to the step two and go back and forth again and again for 34 times. Then we have the final extension time, uh, ex extension step, and it is set to 72 Celsius degrees for 10 minutes. So press on the time here and set 10 minutes. Then press OK. And finally we have the last step, and this step is 12 Celsius degrees uh, to keep our samples for eternal uh, period of time and it is to save our samples from degradation. Now we need to set the volume of our reaction here so you can find it here, so the volume will be 40, you press on it and set it to 40. And the lead temperature should stay the same, so it's 105 Celsius degrees. Now we are going to start. Now we can press on the run button here, so this arrow here shows the running of the protocol. So just press on it and on this screen choose the block and we are going to use the block B after that we have the uh, option to select all we do not do that and we press on OK and now you can see that it again asks the uh, running the start of uh, unsafe protocol with a volume of 40 uh, microliters and lead temperature of 105 Celsius degrees. So press OK. And now it's starting running. And as you can see here, we have the first step here at the first column, but we also need to have our lead temperature to rise and now it's rising slowly to 105 and after the lead is heated then the first step will start also you can see that the sample temperature now is 24 Celsius, Celsius degrees you should stay close to the thermocycler unless you are sure that uh, the lead is 105 and the program itself started. It will also show the remaining time uh, because it will calculate the steps and finally give it to you. For now it is set to 1 hour 53 seconds, 53 minutes and after we obtain the proper lead temperature it will update.